Okay, so now we store some answers to some of the homework problems. Okay, our special guest, Mr. Dr. Fockenheimer. Is that I'm Dr. Fockenheimer? Uh, we do some answers. Yes. Okay. We have the problems. Uh, we are looking at. Uh, we're looking. Remember. The time. Negative number is always smaller than the than the positive number. So as negative seven and three tenths is less than six and nine tenths. We look very carefully at this one. Number six. Negative two. Uh, excuse me. Negative twelve and thirty-two hundredths. To figure this one, we had multiply times the 4 and times the 4, get the equivalent decimals, negative 12, multiply this 4, 4, 8 times 4 is 32, 25 times 4 is, is 100, so it's negative 12, so those are equal, very equal. Yeah, very equal, very equal uh, numbers there, very rational number. All right. So now we have our uh, other side, we do a few more. These uh, 3 and 70 one hundredths, negative 3 and 70 one hundredths, negative 3 and 70 hundredths. Remember, when you look at the number line, if we go between uh, the negative 3 and the negative 4, negative 3 and 70 and 17 or 70 hundredths is there. 71 hundredths, a little bit closer to the negative 4. Not by very much, but just a little bit. So it's a smaller number. So negative 3 and 71 hundredths is less than negative 3 and 17. So E is a problem. A couple of easier ones that we do on here. Ah, two thirds. And one eight, negative two thirds, negative one eight. We get a common denominator. Common multiple of three and eight is twenty four. So times eight and times eight, we get negative six tenths twenty four times three and times three, we get negative three twenty fours. Now remember, negative three twenty fours is closer to zero than sixteen twenty fours. So it is greater than, so it's negative 16 24 is less than negative 3 24. So negative 2 thirds less than negative 1 8. When we put this, uh, the numbers in the water, we have uh, the negative numbers always less than the, than the positive numbers. So negative 7 and 3 tenths repeating, remember, negative 7 and 3 tenths repeating is negative 7 and 1 third. So if I'm comparing that to negative 7 and 2 thirds, this one's closer to 0. So this one, I look at the number line. Oh, must pause what we get. Oh, it's a message. Oh dear. So we look at the number line. So negative 7, negative 8, both those are between negative 7 and negative 8. Negative 7 and 1 third is there. Negative 7 and 2 thirds is there, two thirds is less than one third in this case because it's negative. And then when we look at the positives, seven and three fourths, that's seven and three quarters, so seven and 75 cents, seven dollars, 75 cents. So we have our set, the smallest negative seven and two thirds, then negative seven and one third, then we have uh, 7 and 23 hundredths and then 7 and 3 fourths. One last number, number 17. Scores at a truck pool were based on the distance the truck stopped from the finish line or the scores from least to greatest. So negative 5 and 3 fourths, negative 7 and 2 tenths, 9 and 3 and an 8. That's very simple. Negative 7 and 2 tenths is furthest away from 0 to the left. If we look at our number line, negative 7 and 2 tenths, negative 5 and 3 fourths will be here, 0 somewhere in there, 3 and an 8, and then a 9. 
so negative seven and two tenths negative these two characters so yes negative five and three fourths three and one eight and nine okay you can do those you should be able to do the rest of them be very prepared also don't forget that you need to be able to uh, classify some numbers okay rational numbers all the different kinds be able to do whole numbers uh, integers and the rational numbers okay good very good